when you think the narcissist has moved on. When you think the narcissist has forgotten about you and moved on with some other situation in their lives. When people don't hear from the narcissist, they might assume that they have a new supply. And in many situations, they may be right. There may be someone else who is occupying their interest. But that isn't always the case. Sometimes the narcissist is just biding their time. Sometimes they're just waiting in the shadows. Even if they do have a new supply, it doesn't mean they're not just waiting patiently for a good opportunity to return to you. Narcissists are strategists. They always want to be 10 steps ahead. So they will wait for the right moment to pounce on their unsuspecting targets. The key word here is unsuspecting. They're like predators who always attack the most vulnerable prey. They're waiting for you to slip up so that they can come back and take advantage of it and exploit it for all it's worth. So even if they do have a new supply, it doesn't mean that they've moved on. It may be something they're using to distract themselves for a moment. Or they may not have anyone at all. And just the mere thought of what they're about to do to you is enough to supply them. The narcissist wants you to think that they've moved on because then you're not expecting their attack. They will be able to catch you off guard where you are unprepared for a surprise or difficulty because that is when they can really do their work. That's how they targeted you in the first place when you lack the knowledge, awareness and experience of what these people are capable of. Narcissists have the most power when you are unaware of what they can do. Or when you doubt that they might do something. Because that's when they're able to pull the wool over your eyes. That's when they can deceive you by telling untruths. So even though you may think that the narcissist has moved on, it's very important to be aware of what these people are capable of. You may think that the narcissist has forgotten about you. You may think that they have moved on with their lives. But it's common for a narcissist to hoover their victims. On average, a victim will get back with a narcissist seven times 
before it's finally over. And many of these reunions will be the result of the narcissist Hoover attempts. They will return to the love bombing phase in an effort to make you think that they have changed. And they will often do this when you least expect it. When you have moved on from them. When you think that they have moved on, that's when they're likely to return to you. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. They will give you a false impression. They will give you fake apologies and fake epiphanies. They will use future faking. Whatever it takes to wrap you around their thumb again. Because they have no intentions of changing anything. They just want to lock you under their control again. And they understand that separation could be a key element in establishing this. Because it leaves you look of a closure. It leaves you seeking validation. And narcissists create these trauma bonds with their victims. They use intermittent reinforcement through rewards and punishments to form a bond. Where you feel like you need to win them over. Where you feel like you have to please them. So they will discard you to make you think that you're not good enough for them. Only to return to make you think that they need you. This is what creates the trauma bond. This is what makes you try harder and harder to make them happy. When you will never consistently make the narcissist happy. Because they know exactly what they're doing. And they understand the effects that this behavior is having on you. They know that it's pulling you deeper and deeper into their realm. You may think that the narcissist has moved on. But they may actually be plotting behind the scenes. Maybe you discarded them, or you had a disagreement and they left you. And now they're planning to get revenge. Narcissists are very vengeful people. They're always seeking to harm people in return for their perceived injury. Whenever they get involved with someone, they always think the situation is unfair. They're always seeking retribution. So although you may think they've moved on, they're still monitoring you. They're just waiting for the right time to act. They're looking for an opportunity where they can do the most damage to you. Where you won't be able to leave unscathed. Where you won't be able to move on without suffering any injury, damage or harm. Because when you move on with a sense of freedom and you have the tools to build a fulfilling life, that is a threat to the narcissist. They see it as an offense and they will do anything to stop you. But they're not always going to act immediately. It might not be the right time. Or if they do act, maybe it won't result in their favor. So they will wait patiently for the right moment, like a predator waiting to pounce on its unsuspecting prey. They may even toy with you. They may play cat and mouse. It's a game to these sadistic predators. They get off on it. 
They want to keep you in a state of fear. They want to prolong your suffering. They want to keep you in a state where you don't know what they're going to do next. Because even though you may not be in their lives, you're still supplying them. They're still able to feed from any low vibrational emotions they induce within you. So although you may think the narcissist has moved on, it may just be that they want you to think they've moved on. Maybe they're just waiting for the right moment to love bomb you or take revenge. They're not going to let you go that easily. Once a narcissist gets involved with you, they see it as though that's it for life. They see it as though you belong to them. You're their property. They see you as an object that exists to meet their needs. You can keep trying to run away, but they're just going to keep coming after you. You can either submit and agree to serve them, or they will make your life hell. There's no two ways about it. They're not going to stop. They might hold off for a moment, but then they're going to go full force. It's like a missile. They home in on you, and then they expend all of their resources to defeat you. You may think that the narcissist has moved on. You may think that they have forgotten about you. But they're just waiting for the right moment to strike. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coachingatnarcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.